work of step slaves you want, and you don't have to go to school. You're the youngest girl up by now. Thanks, Jerry. But you've got something I don't know. What? Family. Welcome back to DBL. Young girls wanted to be Punky Brewster back in the 80s. Now, Soleil Moonfry is encouraging parents to get their teens vaccinated against meningitis. We spoke to her earlier in today's Chatting with the Stars. Soleil Moonfry, welcome to DBL. We are so thankful you're here, and we're going to get to the importance of getting teens vaccinated. But first, let's talk girl power because it's National Women's Equality Day. We've actually worked together before, and you were always so empowering and supportive of me as a female trying to come up in the industry. And I just wanted to say thank you. And that was true with Punky Brewster. She was also so girl power, and we were excited about the reboot. We're sad to see it's canceled. How are you feeling about it, and could another network pick it up? Thank you so much. Yes, I'm sure someone could pick it up. And it's so amazing to see the response of punky fans. And it, it's it's so beautiful. People started petitions and like <laughs> there's like thousands of people texting, emailing. Like it's so awesome to just see the punky love and and yeah, I, I mean, I think Punky is going to live on in our hearts right on, girl. And, and definitely would be fun to, to see her continue on in her family. I mean, really, I, I've been so proud to be a part of it and just to have such an incredibly diverse, amazing um, group of people around me, the most awesome cast, the most incredible crew. It has really been a dream come true. I can't wait. So like, girl, I have to tell you, your documentary Kid 90 mm -hmm. was so open and honest. I just seeing the world and your life through your eyes and how you saw others and how they saw you. Talk about reliving those times. And was there anything that didn't make the film? Uh, yes, there's lots that did not make the documentary because I had hundreds upon hundreds of hours of tapes and diaries and audio recordings. And, you know, and I, I've spent years now going through them. And, and really, this has been such an incredibly, uh, just a, such a moving journey. You know, it's been decades in the making. And to spend the last years on Kid 90 has just been a dream come true with, you know, living with the ghosts of the past and my friends and just it's been such a coming of age of both the teen me and adult me coming together again and it really has has changed my life so much in so many ways you know that it was like i opened pandora's box and discovered true self-love mm. i enjoyed it as well but we wanted to wish your daughter poet a very happy birthday Mazel. she just turned 16 yeah and that's what we're here to talk about she was recently vaccinated so talk about why teens are most at risk and we're talking about meningitis today thank you yes so i'm so excited to be part of the ask to be sure campaign uh, this is, is so important to be having this conversation. My daughter, Poet, turned 16 a couple days ago. I can't believe it because I still feel 16. Yeah. <laughs> and a dear friend and I were talking and she told me about meningitis B and we started talking about it. And it was incredible to learn so much that I really didn't know. I think so many of us assume that you get the meningitis vaccination when you're a kid and then you're set. And really meningitis B affects one of the largest groups that it affects is 16 to 23 year olds which is like when when you realize that and you realize that meningitis b is a totally different vaccination um and really affecting high school students and college students um so much uh it, it's really important that we have this conversation and uh and and i certainly was not aware of it and have learned so much and for the people that get affected by meningitis, although it's uncommon, it's an uncommon disease, it can be really deadly and one out of 10 people will die from it. And then to hear people's stories and their journeys has just been staggering to me. Punky Brewster, walk in the walk. <laughs> Soleil Moonfry. Talk in the talk. No, I know, but I love her for everything that she's done. I always wear mismatched socks because of you. You were always very kind to me, very supportive. And I wanted to thank you for coming on and talking about this. It's very important. Thank you for coming on. You can visit asktobesure.com for more information on the meningitis vaccine. Soleil, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Mwah.